JFT, just fair and direct. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to JFD's Daily Market Review for February the 9th. I am Haralamos Pissuros, Head of Research here at JFD, and I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events, and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds uh, to read the rest, and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, the US dollar traded lower against the majority of the other major currencies on Tuesday during the Asian session Wednesday. It gained uh, only against CAD while it was found virtually unchanged versus JPY. The greenback lost the most ground versus AUD and NZD. Now, the weakening of the US dollar and the Japanese yen, combined with the strengthening of the risk linked Aussie and Kiwi, suggests that financial markets traded in a risk on manner yesterday and today in Asia. Yes, the loon is also a risk-linked currency, but it may have suffered due to the slide in oil prices. Now, turning our gaze to the equity world, we see that, indeed, major European and US indices were a sea of green, with the upbeat appetite rolling into the Asian session today. The only exception was UK's FTSE 100, which closed fractionally negative. It seems that with a very light agenda yesterday, market participants may have decided to take advantage of the better than expected earnings results, with European investors having another reason to buy. Remember that on Monday, uh, ECB President Christine Lagarde pushed against expectations over a rate hike by her bank in July. On top of that, talks between Russian President Vladimir Putin and uh, French President Emmanuel Macron kept alive hopes that a war in Ukraine will be avoided, which may have also encouraged uh, some uh, risk increase. That said, with the US CPIs looming tomorrow, we prefer to adopt a cautious stance, despite many equity indices showing signs that further, that further advances could be possible. Both the headline and core rates are expected to have continued rising, which could add to the view of aggressive tightening by the Fed and may result in a pullback in the stock market and a rebound in the US dollar. That said, even if this is the case, we will not call for a trend reversal as market participants are already pricing in five quarter point increases by the Fed for uh, this year. In other words, they are willing to buy stocks even if they anticipate uh, so many rate uh, liftoffs. Maybe they are in a rush to take advantage of the low interest rate environment before the Fed starts the hiking process. Now, as uh, for today's events, the calendar remains very light. The only release worth mentioning uh, may be Germany's trade balance for December, with the forecast pointing to a small decline in the nation's, in the nation's surplus to 10.4 billion euros from 10.9 billion. That said, Germany's trade balance has uh, rarely uh, been a market mover, and thus we don't expect any reaction by the euro at the time of this release. So, that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much for watching and listening. For those who are interested in learning about the main events of the week much earlier, you can subscribe to the weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I'm holding every Monday at 8 o'clock a.m. GMT. You can find the link in the description below. So, goodbye, have a great day, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again uh, tomorrow. JFT, just fair and direct.